Greetings everyone, Slizzle466 here, and in today's video, we're looking at some of the best decks to climb with post open the waygate nerf. At number 11, we have Pirate Warrior. Uh, this is actually a cute little list uh, that hit top 5 legend by Hidden Pants. I was a little skeptical of it when I first saw it. It's got a Sky Captain Crag in it. Um, it's got the Horde Pillager in it. it. It looks pretty out there, but um, I gave it a spin. And based on my stats, I'm 6 and 2 at Legend. Um, it's actually really powerful. So if you want to try something a little different than the usual Pirate Warrior that you played in the past, give this list a try. It's actually really, really good. At number 10, we have Cream Puff's Reno Quest Mage. Reno Quest Mage has taken a little bit of a hit. Uh, open the Waygate, uh, going up to 8 spells does hurt this deck, so it's much further down on the uh, best deck list than we're used to seeing it. But it's, you know, it's it's still a good deck. It's only two extra spells, but um, if you want to give uh, Reno Quest Mage a try, this is probably your best bet. You need to have the Evocation now just to help you get that quest done a little bit faster. The Astromancer Solarian is really nice. Uh, being able to get kind of like a mini Yogg, but the Yogg has favorable spells because the Solarian Prime tries to target enemies is very nice. But overall, this is just a solid dragon-based Reno Quest Mage uh, to help you get the job done. And if things don't work your way, you've, also, you've always got the amazing Reno to add some more randomness. At number 9, we have Troen's Mech Handbuff Paladin. Again, this is a little bit of a different list than what you've typically seen, but I think it's worth giving a try. It's got the target dummies in there. The reason the target dummies are here is to target the demon hunters. Uh, the odd demon hunters, even though the deck's been nerfed twice now, it's still incredibly fast. And so the target dummies just really help you just get a little bit of an edge in those more aggressive matchups. Um, it's also running the Replicator Tron, the 4 mana 3 3 mech at the end of your turn. Transform a neighbor into a copy of this. Uh, and you've also got the Glowstone Technician, which is an interesting choice. This is almost more of an anti-control tool. So you've got your target dummies for your anti-aggro, but then you've got your Glowstone Technicians as your anti-control. So it all kind of evens out in the end. And this is, a, this is a cute little list you might want to give a try. At number 8, we have Scary Kookie's Odd Paladin. Odd Paladin is just a solid list to ladder with in general. Uh, this specific list is teched for the meta, so you've got your double Iron Beak Owl. This is to help you against all of those cube locks that are floating around. Very popular deck right now. I love how there's only one Divine Favor. I, I've always been a fan of one Divine Favor. I've always found two to be a little clunky. And let's be honest, mages are annoying. One Chief Inspector, uh, just to help deal with them. This is not to deal with the Quest Mages, by the way. This is to deal with the Secret Mage. Secret Mage is a horrific matchup for Odd Paladin, especially because of Arcane Flak Mage. So Chief Inspector just helps give the deck a little bit more of an edge against Secret Mage. At number 7, I, I don't know what's up with this username. It's <laughs> This is a list from, uh, from the China server. Um, but this is a Reno Priest list that I actually personally really like. Um, I'm I'm more on the dragon side of things, so I like the dragon Reno Priest builds only because they're easier to play. I'm more of a slam my minions down sort of guy and hit my opponent in the face. But this is kind of a hybrid because you have your dragons, you know, you've got your Dustbreaker, your Breath of the Infinite, your Azure Drake, Big Ol' Whelp, Kobold Spelled Skin, Draconoid Operative, your Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, but then you've still got the soft, you've still got the Spawn of Shadows just as a soft OTK, so it's there if you need it. Um, keep in mind that Spawn of Shadows with the zero mana dragons off the Dragon Queen Alexstrasza is really powerful, but this is just a cute little list. It's just a hybrid between the two. Um, I think this is a list that would work well for me. Maybe it'll work for you as well. Also, 
There's a Kazan Mystic in here to deal with the mage matchups. I prefer the Kazan Mystic over the Eater of Secrets, especially against the Quest Mage. If they randomly discover an ice block, you just get it, which is amazing. Uh, the, and there's also a Skulking Geist in here, just to help you with those pesky little Jade Druids. It's also a nice card in the Quest Mage matchup as well. It removes a lot of those one mana spells. Uh, at number six, we have Cream Puff's Odd Demon Hunter. So although the deck has now been nerfed twice, it's still really strong. Uh, this list, Cream Puff, has been jamming a ton. I believe he jammed this to 500 Odd Demon Hunter wins, or just Demon Hunter wins in general. But it's basically very similar to Odd Rogue or Pirate Warrior. You play your one drops, you try and cheat out some happy ghouls, you've got your Hench Clan Thug which says synergies. The one vicious fledgling is kind of cute. And then you've still got your Glaive Banner Adept. It's it's still a 6-4, it does four damage, which is, which is amazing. Lower third for stall. And then you just kind of finish out with your Metamorphosis, your War Glaze of Azanoth, and your Priestess of Fury. So just generally a really strong uh, aggro list to ladder with. At number four, we have Spiritus's Even Shaman. Uh, this is, you know, your typical totem even shaman that we're used to seeing, but there's a really cute little tech in here, which I really like, the Nirobar Weblord. This really helps you with the mage matchups, uh, quest mage and or secret mage. Um, just being able to, to disable a lot of those minions with the battle cry effects, especially because mage is very favored against even shamans, so even shaman struggles against them. The nearby weblord web lord just helps give them a bit, a little bit more of an edge than they used to have. At number three, we have my take on Jade Druid. So this is, this is similar to a lot of the Jade Druid lists that you've probably seen floating around on the ladder, but I've noticed a lot of players are excluding a very important card. And that important card is Yogg Saron, Hope's End. I think you should embrace the RNG, especially if you get Skulking Geisted, you need to have a backup plan. Uh, so Yogg, Saran, Hope Sand is your backup plan. Uh, and th for those who are unfamiliar with this build of Jade Druid, basically you mulligan very hard for the Sun Strider or ways to draw into it. And then typically on turn eight or turn nine, um, maybe turn seven, it depends. Uh, you play your Sun Strider, play a couple spells, and then you get some UIs for free or overflows for free and just do generally absolutely obnoxious things. And really powerful list, really great in the current meta. At number two, we've got Q Warlock. So Q Warlock has really geared towards being as absolutely greedy as possible. Uh, you've got your expired merchant to help you get extra copies of Gul'dan or Nazoth. You've got the Canvathard Ebonlock, which gives you the Canvathard Prime, which is basically like an eight mana mini Gul'dan, which is very powerful. Uh, this list runs the Spirit Singer Umbra, which I personally think is a little bit on the greedy side, but it's incredible in the mirror, um, or if you queue into some obnoxious control deck. So it's a nice little tech, but if you don't have it, that's okay. Just throw in something else. Uh, Enhanced Dreadlords are incredible, getting them out early. Malganus, great, getting out early. Voidlord, great, getting out early. When, when, when are we going to deal with Voidcaller? This, this card's so unfair. No one complains about it. I'm complaining about it. I think it's unfair. Anyway, that's another video. And number one, Open the Waygate got nerfed. What's Quest Mage doing at the number one spot? I thought this deck got nerfed. Guess what? Two extra spells doesn't matter. The deck's still incredible. Uh, I've actually experimented with a whole bunch of different quest mage lists since the nerf happened. And I honestly think that the Ramses quest mage is the way to go. Because you're running the Book of Spectres, you want to be going for minion heavy. You don't want to be discarding your spells. And so you've got your Star Scryers, which are minions that help you draw spells. 
you've got your banana buffoon which is a minion that gives you spells so we have more minions than usual in a quest mage list but it makes the book of specters better we can cycle fast we can get some crazy fling waker turns get our quest done and again sorcerer's apprentice is the card that makes quest mage as crazy as it is so don't worry that you only need two extra spells it really doesn't matter uh, if you want to try out any of these deck lists, you'll find the codes in the description below. If you want to support the channel, you can click that subscribe button, click that bell, and until next time, hope to see you again.